This is the second of two tutorial videos using TeacherWorks for any of the Glencoe Health products. Glencoe Teen Health, Making Life Choices, Health and Wellness, Glencoe Health, and Personal Fitness. Um, the first part dealt with installing opening the teacher wraparound. This segment will deal with the lesson planner and some of the other resources. We're going to click into the lesson planner and just remember this has to be installed originally when you go into it. We're going to go into Glencoe Health and when we loaded this, I loaded it for the state of Georgia and that's going to bring up a lesson plan. The other thing to remember as you do this, the disk needs to be in the disk drive. Now the lesson plan setup can be done specifically for your calendar for a standard or block schedule. You can cut up, if you're in an alternating block, you can put in non-recurring days, finally holidays that you would use, and then you can set other no class days you know you're not going to have class. When I hit apply, it gives me the option of setting those other days, so we're going to put in the 16th of May. We're going to insert that and you'll notice now I have on my right side a calendar that I've just set up that I can look at a day at a time. I can look at a specific week. I can look at a month. On the left side I have a two-month calendar. I have my daily plan and I have my chapter resource list with all my units and chapters in Glencoe Health. Now for the purposes of what we're doing today I don't particularly need this two-month calendar so I'm going to minimize that to give me more room to look at my daily plan. In the calendar on your right it's not populated yet. Any day I highlight would show that day up under the daily plan when I go into it. So to start with, with setting up your planner, you're actually going to be able to look and say what chapters do I want to add to my planner in what order. So you might want, not want to start out with Healthy Foundation. You might want to start out actually with Nutrition and Physical Activity because we're only doing certain chapters in this course. As I look down, you're going to notice Chapter 10, 11, and 12. I want to start with Chapter 10. I'm going to highlight that and grab it and pull it over to May 11th and drop that in and add it on that date. When I add it, it's going to add a lesson plan for each day of that lesson based on our planning. I would go down. I'm not going to do managing weight. I'm going to go to Chapter 12 now. I can grab Chapter 12, pull it in on the next available day, add it in, and it will add the lessons for that that chapter. So what you're going to notice here is you can customize the planner any way you want. Now what we've done in the planner is it's not a probably a lesson plan you would write out, but you're going to notice if I highlight a day that lesson comes up, we've taken all the resources both in the book, in the technology, and in the print resource pack and have listed all of those materials for you. As you page down and look at this, you're going to see an introduction, here are the Georgia standards that go along with that. Then under the lesson, a three-part lesson plan focus. So here are all the materials both in the book and in print that you could use to do focusing with the students. Here's teaching and those materials again both in the book and in the teacher's edition listed for you. And then lastly, assess. So here are the options of things I could use to do assessment and also reteaching as I go into that. Now if the piece is in red, it's a page in the teacher edition. If it's in blue, it's a print resource. If it's purple, it's actually one of the standards. And then finally, there are a few that are, um, I want to say that they're green when I go up here. Yes, and those are technology pieces that are available. By the way, all of these are linked. So if you have the PowerPoint loaded and click on that, it will actually bring it up. If I wanted to look at the reading essentials, I could double click on that and it would actually bring up a PDF version um, of that resource. So when I click on it, it's going to bring up the reading essentials for chapter 12. Um, and I am going to have to page over to that specific chapter when I go into it. When I get done, I click out of it. You're going to notice that in Glinco Health, all of the print resources have a pencil by them. And what that means is these are editable resources. And I can edit these two different ways. If I'm using um, a Mac or a PC, I can actually click on that resource and go to the top corner and actually click on Worksheet Editor. That will bring this up in a generic word processor where you now can go in and edit anything about this document. So I could actually change this because I'm using a different title. Um, physical innovation 
and I could save that and I get to give it a new name this is physical innovation when I say OK it's been saved and that resource can now be added to my planner as I go in that edited version is going to ask me do I want to add it to a day yes I want to add this to not the 11th but 520 and as I go through what I'm going to find in this is I now have my edited worksheet I put in here. The other way you can do this is if you're using Internet Explorer or if you have a, an HTML editor I can actually just double click the resource. It's going to open that in a browser. Now the reason I say Internet Explorer I'm a little more familiar with this. With Internet Explorer I can go right here to where it says page click on that and say I want to edit this with Microsoft Office Word. I know you can do it with Firefox. I'm just I just don't remember where that is. This is now a Word document that you can edit, change, do whatever you want to. You are going to have to do watch sometimes because when you open this, you'll have to look at your margins and make some adjustments there when you pull that up and go through it. Um, but just a, a note that you can do it either way when you go into it. And again, you can save that activity anywhere on your hard drive. You can pull it in. Now if you're working with the lesson planner itself, you have lots of options. Um, I found out there's a pep rally on the 12th, so I need to move this. So if I highlight the 12th, I can go up and say add. And I can add a day. And I'm just going to insert one, and it will actually shift everything in my lesson plans over one day. I can move any resource from one day to another. So on the 12th, we actually got to finish this piece right here so I'm going to pull it over and drop it in so we actually did the reading strategy so I don't need to carry that piece over so any piece can be carried from anywhere that you want to actually access that and pull it in the other thing you can do is you can go to resources and you'll notice here are all the program resources that were listed um, in the eTeacher edition you can click any of these and open them up but you can also add your own resources to the planner so you'll notice my resources here. I can click the Add button. When I do that, I can browse my entire computer. Um, and let me go to my documents. And I'm just going to grab a generic document here. So I'm going to scroll over. And I want to grab this document that says um, BDOL Program Overview. And I'm going to click on that and say OK. That adds that that can now be pulled over into my lesson plan and one of the nice things about this is when I click on that it's going to actually open up that specific resource um, regardless of the file type from my hard drive so it's directly linked to all the materials and then it creates a link for you when you go in um, your correlations are listed here so we have the Georgia correlations my personal assistant is a planner that you have access to and then finally you have a series of internet resources and again here are the program links but I could add my own link that I wanted to put in right here so whether it was National Geographic then that link becomes a live link in my planner I can pull that link right over into my lesson plan and save that as well when I go into it um, so the planner actually lets you set up the curriculum you want you can go in and then say I want to save this lesson plan and I want to call this um, first period health and say save. Now that's um, a lesson plan. I can export the resources and actually send this to other teachers so they can use the same lesson plan that I've created. Um, just one last thing I want to mention on this. The best thing to do is actually go in and pull all these pieces up. You have two features you might want to be aware of. You have standards tracker. So you can actually go in, um, set a series of dates up. So if I go in and set this up to 612 and say apply, I have a series of standards from the Georgia standards. Now not every state has this. Once I've taught them, I simply check them off and I can actually run a report that shows I finished those standards. Um, also, if I'm in a specific lesson, I can scroll down, I can look at the standards, and I can also check them off here to show that these have been covered when I taught this specific lesson, and that will be reflected in my standards tracker when I go through it. 
one final point if I just want to pull this up and get to the resources because you do have to go in through the planner to get to the editable resources I can actually go down to the resource list and click the button with the descending the arrow downward and the A on it and what that does it changes this list from the book to the resources I can now click the arrow next to that and I actually have every single page in the chapter 5 resource book in that editable format so I can go right into chapter 15 lesson 1 the reteaching activity I can click on the worksheet editor and I can bring up that specific activity to change when I go through so really what we're doing is giving you access to the materials in two different ways I can go in through the eTeacher edition and get those resources as a PDF I could go into the lesson planner, set up my lesson plans, or simply go to the resource list, grab those resources as an editable format. This is just a brief overview. Um, we have resources that actually show you step by step, and even on the disk there's a user manual that goes into more detail on how to use all this information that's in this program. But the beautiful thing about it with Glencoe Health, Teen Health, Personal Fitness, on one desk you have both your teacher's edition and all of the available print resources.